Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome fifth wheel. Perfect for full timing in. This one has a king bathroom. This is a 2022 Keystone Alpine model 3712KB. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this Alpine and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited to be showing you the 2022 Alpine with one of the biggest rear bathrooms I've ever seen. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. We're still here in Georgia. Yes! And, um, uh, Alpines have always been one of my like favorite fifth wheels. Yes! Um, when we first got into the industry, um, Alpines were like the nicest thing that we sold at the time. So I always really liked them and learned about a lot about them. Yeah, they're a really great product. And now that we're selling lower end stuff and a lot higher end yep. stuff, it makes you appreciate the Alpine because truthfully for a lot of people, it's that perfect combination of quality and price. It really is, yeah. Well, let's begin. Model is 3712KB. The actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 41 feet, six inches. The dry weight is 14,259 pounds, and the hitch weight is 2,810 pounds. Always know your specs before you tell folks. That's, That's really right. important. Right up here, we do have a beautiful painted fiberglass fiber cap Alpine. It's just a product to the Montana. It's just a little bit different, a little exterior changes and everything. Right up there is a front windshield. Looks fantastic. Coming on down the side here, down here, this is the patented hitch vision. Yes. So when you're backing up, you can see, you can try to line up your fifth wheel hitch with that, uh, with your uh, pin box, no, yep. pin box with your fifth wheel hitch. Right here, uh, what name is this? Road Armor. Road Armor Trail Air Pin Box by Lippert. Very nice. Coming on down here. What do we got going on there? Right there, storage, hydraulic leveling, but this one does not look like it is prepped for the level uh, for the. I think it generator. is. I'm is pretty it? sure that all Alpines are. Ten four. But well, double ten check four. that if you're seriously interested in one. Yep, inverter right there, and as you saw, the hydraulic reservoir. Um, this does have six point hydraulic auto leveling. <clears throat> Very nice. Right here, if you want to have a little Zamp solar panel, you can. Coming on down the side here. Little bit of storage, definitely not yeah, a lot not there. Yeah, not pass through, okay. Power on the outside. Prep for the Furion marker lights. Very nice. Slam latch doors. Coming on down the side here, Will. Because of the Keystone, it does have the Polar package, which is extended season protection. Nice. Oh, look. And oh. this has the Lipper component screen assist. That's actually cool. I'll tell you guys what this is in just a few minutes. Okay. Also, it has the very nice Lippard solid steps right there, which, there uh -oh. you go. They didn't lock in right. Good. Coming on down the side here, Will. Luddy's tires, Will, they're the high specs. I love those. Those are, what size are those, Will? They are. I can't see. 235-80. Or 16s. Very nice. Watch your back there. Yeah, I know. And it does have the Road Armor trailer suspension there. Okay. Power awnings with LED lights. And then check this out. Well, that storage sucked up front. Yeah. It sucked, but look at these. Crazy storage back here. Yes. So that's got those clips. Oh, yeah. So lift up. But I think the first time we might have been using them oh, wrong. How yeah. are these working? Oh, these are okay, working. Okay, so they're great. okay. Oh, so the, okay. So was this, it on a Montana that we didn't like or something like that? I forget. It might have been, but I, it might have been operator air. It probably was, <laughs> Will. But this very nice storage. Now you're probably wondering, why is this side right. not pass through? Well, that's because because around the back, this is what you're able to see. Look at that. Nice. Huge storage back here. Very nice. Do you got a hitch? 
There is no four pin connector, so you cannot tow behind it. Okay. It's gonna be good for 300 vertical pounds. Uh, it is prepped for a backup camera right there. And there is a ladder to get up on the roof. Will, let's go up there and take a look. All right. Be careful, that's a big step, isn't it? I got it, Dad. Okay. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. Right there's your wine guard digital antenna, and you can see that it does come with a solar panel on the roof. Careful coming down. Last step. Yes, sir. Oh, great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV salesmen's taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up, Will. 50 amp power cord on an electric reel. Okay. Love that. The heck's going on with my hair right now? A little messy. Yes, sir. Right here, we got a little bit of storage. Okay. I can't even see it. Let me see. Oh, yeah, destroyed. I can just see that. In the oh, right yeah. There. Coming on down the side here. Faster. Oh, see. There you go. There you go. The other side of storage. And your okay. pole. Yep, pole there's your bounce. poles. Exactly. We'll touch on that a little bit later. Over here, this is where you're dumping your tanks right there. Okay. Those are where your poles are. Instant hot tankless water heater. Nice. It's gonna be all your water hookups. Yep. Okay. And then here's your propane tanks. Cool. Well, Will, the outside of the Alpine looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Will. Yeah. Before we take a look at the inside, we're giving a big shout out to our sponsor, Lipper. I'm super excited. It's one of my favorite products because our friend Matt and Ashley have one of these. This is Lippert Screen Assist. So, if you guys know the little handle right here, it's always a pain in the butt to get to. The Lippert Screen Assist, it makes it so the whole thing is a handle like this. So, just like that, because see, look, this is the size of a normal handle. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nobody likes that. So now, when you're camping, right, instead of me pushing this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's stupid. I just want to push down, open exactly. it, it's a little handle. These are very inexpensive to do well, easy yeah. to install yourself. Jen, please insert price here. Um, that's how much they are. And if you guys want one, we'll link it down in the description below. Thanks so much for Lipper for sponsoring today's episode. Yes, thank you. Okay, start in the back, I guess. Yeah. All right, so back here is that king bath that we spoke of. Nice bedroom here. Oops. Kitchen right here. Dining area on the other side. And the living area up front. Where are we starting up here? Uh, you know what, Will? Only because you wanted to. We're gonna start in the back. Okay. We're gonna mix it up for America. <clears throat> Sounds good. Where the heck's the light for the back? Right here, to the right. Back there? Yeah, kind of weird, huh? There you go. Well, you wanna know why I wanna start back here? Because it's a king bath. 3712, that's why. The 3712 KB, king bathroom. Look at this, amazing. Yeah. Well, step in that king shower. Okay. This is literally like the best of the best shower. Wow. I mean, the width, the depth, the height. Mm. This, this is the shower test. You know? That, that <laughs> is the, yeah, exactly. This passes without a doubt. Bing! Yes, sir. Not only that, well, the toilet's in a great placement as well. It is. It is definitely tighter than what that shower is. Here, let me get back a little. But still, there's no contact. It's no contact zone. Well, I got plenty of space. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. nice. Show what we got going on there. Okay. Nice medicine cabinet with double mirrors here. Yes, sir. Double sinks, solid surface countertops. Um, that's probably something like upgraded in the Alpine versus the Avalanche. Yeah. Solid surface, real wood um, finishes. And all this storage here. 
prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. Stackable, Will. Very nice. Great. And then over here, Will, in the master bedroom, king size bed on a slide out, really nice. Yes. Good looking headboard, dual windows there, whisper quiet air conditioning unit. And let's check to see if there's storage underneath you the bed. Know it. Of course there is, man. Get that out of the way. There we go. Yes, sir. Over yeah. here is pantry space, wardrobe space, whatever you want to call it. It's like a king bathroom and a king bedroom. I mean, with yes. all the storage and everything. Yes, sir. TV right there. Nice, uh, nice window. More storage. That's the same on that side. Mm -hmm. And we got some drawers right here. Cool. Pocket door to close off the bedroom. And there is little tabletops, I guess, yes. for your cell phones. Okay. And then coming on down the side here okay. into the kitchen area, we do have your table and chairs. Okay. Um, got it. Okay. Definitely not big, but not small. You know what I'm saying? So a little tighter, but not exactly. definitely doable. 100%. Okay. We got three windows all the way around. And then we got daytime shades and privacy shades. Very nice. Yes, sir. Uh, the four is nice and everything. We're going to go over the price in just a bit. Okay. We do got the uh, light sconce right there. Nice. And um, you know what, Will? What? We're mixing it up. So do you know what time it is? It's, it's now, now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this unit is 110308 savings has $18,000 off to a discounted price of $92,268. That's a phenomenal sale price, Will. Yes. Um, big shout outs to Mid-State RV. If you guys are interested in this unit, please go to mattsrvreviews.com. That's our website. Fill out the contact form. We'll transfer it over to Mid-State RV or any dealership that's close to you that sells the Alpine. That's part of our partnership. They'll know you're part of the partnership, so they're going to hook you up with a great deal. That's right. Phenomenal price and amazing service. Will, show us this kitchen. All right. So we'll start over here with this huge pantry. Yes. This is like a walk-in pantry. Yes. With tons of storage okay, here. Look at that. And um, you can make like a nice little coffee nook in here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Solid surface countertops and power and everything a couple little more storage underneath as well yes and then you can close these drawers off um you know to, to section it off over here got some storage up top here all around this nice convection microwave right here yes sir pretty good size okay and then nice backsplash here nice four burner insignia cooktop yes sir i love this cooktop a little bit of counter space on the other side nice apartment size residential oven turkey tested turkey approved yes sir <laughs> some storage right there wine rack up top mm. nice big uh refrigerator i would assume this is supposed to have shelves maybe they're probably inside those drawers yep, yep. Samsung refrigerator and freezer here. Very nice. Over here is like kind of a small little pantry area. Yeah. Drawer right there. A coffee, little coffee nook there. A couple more drawers and then I assume this is going to be breakers and yeah, yeah, there's your breakers and fuses and everything. Very nice. Right over here is the King in Command Keystone yes. system. And then on the center is the island. You got the two tone faucet. Yes. I'm not crazy about the colors, but it does the job. Double bowl sink with the big and the small. Solid surface inserts to match the counters. And then a couple drawers here. Yes, sir. Right here. Hey, oh. that's two hundred and four dollars trash sure cans. Is. And storage right there. Very nice. Cool. Cool. Let's go up to that master. Uh, Living room. Okay. I meant to say master bedroom. But look at this living room, Will. Mm. Fan freaking tastic. It is. A freaking amazing. Love the front living rooms. Love the front windshield. Looks awesome. You know what I just realized they did, I think? What's w that? Wasn't last year you're just like these? Nope. That was only in the Montana. Is that? Oh, only in the Montana. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Will, you better know your shades <laughs> events next time you're on the program. Yeah, that's right. Look at how red I look. We went to Universal, bit. guys. I got a look at this. A little bit of sun. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a chip. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, dude, like the camera's like really making the red pop. Or is that really the color of my skin? Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah. I'm gonna die soon. 
Right there. I have skin poisoning. No, sun poisoning. Right. Who you? But those slides at Universal were worth it. <laughs> we got the uh, DVD player sound system there. I didn't think it was Universal's Volcano Bay, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, Universal Volcano Bay. That's where we saw... Oh! Oh, he didn't tell America. Oh, no. Uh, big shout out. We ran into <clears throat> our arch nemesis slash really good friend. No, he's both. <laughs> slash really good friends. Josh <laughs> from Bish RV now. Shout out, Josh. Great to see you. Yes. Um, I you missed know. him, but oh, we yeah. were hunting everywhere for him. And yep. The but I saw him. That I, I ran gone. into him in the not so lazy river. <laughs> yeah. But we didn't get a good picture together. You know, he's on vacation with his family. I didn't want to... Uh, like, be like, oh, let me run to the locker and get my phone. Right. But, uh, storage right there. Fireplace. More storage over here. Nice. Oh, I hate this. Yeah. See, you can't sing, can you, because of the angle. Right. Like, like literally, look at how I have to do right. this. Right. And it sounds... it's su let, let me tell you. It's a first it's world problem. Such first world problems, but... But yeah, Josh from Michigan, man. Coldwater, Michigan. Right. Who would have thought we were both at Universal, same place, same right. time? Like the one time right. this year. Yeah. Uh, nice TV that raises it <clears throat> up. And then, well, we're on the furniture here. Okay. Typical, typical, typical. Yeah. Thomas Paine furniture collection. Nice. These are both trifolds. Um, we got the shades and everything. You know, it's funny because... um. Alpine hasn't been innovating much in the past couple they of years. They haven't, no. Um, but it's almost like, you know, you don't need to. It's, it's hard to keep them in stock. They're, they're selling. They're great price points and everything. High-end luxury fifth wheels. Right. Um, the priority right now isn't redesigning. The priority is getting inventory right. built. Exactly. You know, and exactly. And it's just really nice. And then over here is the theater seats. And again, we, we call these high-end well. But, I mean, they're not like the, the Riverstone Legacy. But they're also... You know, you can get this and your truck for the same price true. as a Riverstone Very Legacy. True. So pros and cons, these are heated seats and massage seats okay. um, with the manual recline pull right there. Cool. Cup holders, remote holders, and everything. Yeah. Well, well, we already did the MSRP, so it's now time we give every... So that's the review. Yes. Now, before America leaves, it's time we give everybody... Three things we love about this Alpine and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do with first? Three things we love. Uh, you go first. Okay. You know where I'm going to go. Talk to me. Oh, man, from one side of the fifth wheel to the yes. other. I feel like this was the, definitely the focus point in this Alpine floor plan. Um, but I mean that they knocked it out of the park with the shower. Is of course. It, oh, it's not an encore. Mm -hmm. No, I don't care what brand it is. Frontline, but Frontline's kicking butt. Right. Yeah, it's I mean, big. The it's amazing. awesome. It yep. Is. Yep. I love that. That's number one. Well, number two. Yeah. Follow me. So number two for me, well, has to be this awesome pantry. For sure. I mean, look at it. It's like a walk-in pantry. Not only that, let's say you didn't need some more countertop space, coffee machines, crock pot, whatever. You got the space back here. You got the power plugs. So many times floor plants are giving you this half bath. Right. Which is right by the kitchen. I prefer the uh, this and so does Will. Yes, for sure. That's number two. And then Will, number three? Number three would be... Oh, I'll give definitely give it to that outside storage. Really? Yeah, you didn't like it? Wow. What? Really? Yeah. Okay. Not the front. Yeah. But the back. You get the double pass through and that big storage in the back. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I know you probably didn't like that it didn't have a tray, did you? Exactly. Yeah. But I get it. But the size is good. Yeah. And I'm not gonna negate your like. Okay. So that's number three. Okay. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's go back. Let's go outside. Okay. Here's why. Here's why. So let, let, let's do number three again. Okay. Let, let, let's show number three again. So, well, you're saying this year, number three, this awesome storage? Yeah. Okay, okay, I agree with you. Okay, yep, show that side as well. Great, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. You ready for this, Will? Yep. See those handles right there? Oh, yeah. I hate that. You put anything in here, 
they're going to break your pull handles. Right. And that is the most annoying thing and the dumbest thing I've ever seen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's no protection. They're held by a little rod. Those suckers are going to snap. Right. That is dislike number one. Okay. Well, dislike number two. Um... I can go again. Oh, no, oh, I got, got it. it. Yeah, again, with this floor plan, having this slide here on the outside, um, I mean, this is kind of like your main camping area. Granted, they give you the second one. Yep. But most of the time, people want to be like hanging out here, grilling here, you know, have the picnic table and everything right here. I'm going to combo that well, because okay. I agree. I agree, and mine kind of sinks in with yours. Okay. Okay. This one actually was Fat Boy tested, Fat Boy approved. Yeah. But these thick valances on this. I agree. Like, I'm okay with the valances. Have them all. Just remove them here on the dinette. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That is dislike number two. Sir William, why do we do this to ourselves? <laughs> oh, I know. Okay. And you guys are going to comment. And I don't want to hear it from you guys today, America. doesn't sound like a lot and it's not a lot right but the fact that I got to do that oh and I have a true number three okay the fact that I have to do that especially since this unit has the super right. expensive super popular in command system is stupid right one I hate in command it's not good <laughs> And the fact that it doesn't even at least control the TV, like what the heck? Right. You know what I'm saying? And people are like, well, Matt, why do you hate in command? It's it's not touch, super touch sensitive. It's not like an iPad, you know what I'm saying? It's really not. Um, and it, it The concept silly. is great. Yep. But they need they got some work to do on it. And it's like enter a passcode. Like, like why do you need a passcode? Nobody's going to close your slide out. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't like the in command. And I don't like having to push that button for the TV. I agree. Yep. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this unit or you're looking to buy this unit, guys, Matt and Will, we're going a little crazy today. But <laughs> here's what I do know. We can get you a better sale price than on this unit than what they were advertising. All you guys got to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com, click that contact button, let us know that you want to buy this unit. Once this unit's gone, it's gone. Um, and the price of the next one might be higher. It might be lower. Probably gonna be higher. It's the way America works. But don't say. But but what? But don't say. Matt and Will said that you can right, get it. Right for ninety-two. We'll get a nasty email. Right, and, and it's just like saying sale prices. Exactly. So if you guys want to say <clears throat> sale price, please respect that. That sale price only works on this unit. But doesn't matter if you're looking to buy this unit, that unit, or any unit. We're always gonna go to bat for you to get you guys yes. the best price in America. We're gonna get you a phenomenal price. Great service and the best RV buying experience in the industry. That's Will, it. is there anything you want to say? Of course. Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Um, we're still here in Georgia enjoying the great weather here. Um, again, the Alpines are really, really great for full time or really honestly for kind of the weekend warriors as well. Um, for somebody who wants a little bit higher in unit. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Will, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.